friends, welcome to my channel. As you might know, it is my dream to be an entertainer. So if you are entertained by this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing for more content. Today, I am so excited to try marbling art. Ooh, I'm a little nervous. I don't know if this is going to be fig. I don't know if this is gonna get messy. Um, I hope not. It seems like it's like scrapbooking almost. So uh, I'm, I'm excited to get started. But before we do, let's put our troubles aside by rolling our neck as we take a moment to center ourselves and really communicate with our body. Let's roll our shoulders about five times just to get a little work going. If you find any area that needs extra attention, be sure to give it some love. And if you notice any painful spots or need to readjust how you're sitting, maybe get um, a snack or something to drink, now is the perfect time. Remember to take care of yourself. And I think now we will do a grounding breath. So that is an inhale through the nose. Hold for just a moment and release on an audible sigh. <sighs> Perfect. Now, before we jump in, I just wanna say I apologize for wearing glasses. I know I can show up on camera a little bit weird. Um, I'm just kind of suffering from dry eye, you know, it, it happens. Um, but look, it matches my shirt. And, and don't believe this, I've been very productive today. <laughs> Okay, so once again, this craft says it includes everything you need to get started. It should take us about 30 minutes. We'll see if that's accurate. Um, so it really, it seems to be self-explanatory. You choose your card, you combine the colors and patterns and however you wanna make it, and then you can make it sparkle with the gold transfer foil sheets. So let me open this and make sure there actually is everything that I need to do this project. Okay, this actually was packaged very nicely. Everything was so nice and neat in its little holder here. And it looks like we get all of these um, items. So we've got the die cut tags, the sheets of cards. I guess that is under here. This looks like just notepad paper. Okay, I guess those are cards. Um, artist pen. Uh, my wooden stick is warped a bit. Um, I guess it doesn't matter, but it's a little bit interesting. I've never seen a stick get warped. Got our glitter, and I wanted to um, call attention to our soft pastels. Um, so I am not usually, this is not the kind of artist that I am, um, but I have used pastels a little bit. So I really love um, how it did come packaged. Um, so they actually took care of these. So it'll be interesting to see how vibrant these pastels are. Okay, this does warn us. Before you begin, you'll need to gather a few supplies, paper towels, a cup of water, a shallow bowl, or a pan. So I'm going to get all of that ready. I will forgive it since it did tell us at the start that we'll need these extra items. Even though the box did say it gave us everything to get started, I guess they're talking about as the craft, not the actual crafting it. So I will be back in just a moment. All right, so it did tell me to put on old clothes. I like this shirt, but I'm gonna try it and see if maybe I won't get too messy. We will see. Okay, so after reviewing the instructions, I am gonna go ahead and use one of these pieces of paper because there's um, enough space to actually work with it. These are adorable and I was tempted, but it's so small. I feel as a craft kind of testing this out, I might not really get a sense for what it really feels like. So let me clear my spot to get started. So following the instructions, they said I could either use a pan or a shallow bowl so I am using this pan and it said, why is my table not even? Why is this not? There we go, that was kind of weird. Okay, so I should choose three to four soft pastel colors. Let's see, well, we've got to use this mint color cause it's kind of my brand and I'm supposed to use this to grate it, okay. It's working. Ooh, look at that color. I feel like I'm wasting it. This is what they told me to do. 
There, okay, maybe that, that's a little bit more. Okay, so that's my base color. I have no idea what I'm doing, I'm just saying that this is the main color that I would like. Now let's, see they don't really have a pink, let's go purple. Purple's very nice. So it's like that the dipping. Uh, I always wanted to do that too. <laughs> Look out for a future video where I uh, do that, that dipping with like the spray paint um, that I'm gonna need uh, Phil Harbor's assistance with that because I know I will give myself brain damage if I do that unsupervised. But let's go with a pop of orange. Oh, <sighs> neighbors scare me. Who would have thought a craft video would be a jump scare, you know? So they said three to four. I'm liking this color scheme, just a little pop. Um, I don't know if I should do more, like, is it gonna get hidden? I'll do a little more of this one. Can you tell what my favorite color is? <laughs> All right, so we've done step one. Um, they also said at this time you can add the glitter. So we're going to add, whoops. I don't know, I mean, just like go ham, right? Um, all right, so we've got, oops, I just put the pastels on my paper. Okay, I think it'll be okay. Finger check, pretty clean, okay. Ooh, this looks kind of pretty in like a really messy kind of way. Okay, place the card in the water and allow the card to absorb the pigments. You can use your hands to swirl the card around in the liquid for added effect. So, like that. I guess it's not supposed to submerge, it's just supposed to Accept it. They please accept my designs. And you can use your hands. Um, I don't exactly know how to do a swirling technique. Um, oh, all the glitter is coming over here. I hope that's not a bad sign. Okay. I'm going to lift it. Um, well, that's really pretty. I don't know about this though. <laughs> Gross. Okay. So I only need to set it in between paper if it starts to warp. Right now it looks pretty flat. So I will just set it aside like this. It needs time to dry. Um, ooh, it's like coming off of the paper. Okay, so for argument's sake, let's also take, I'm gonna take one of these longer sheets uh, of a tag and then this shorter tag sheet. So I'm going against what I originally said. Swirl it. I'm gonna get my paper towel ready and plop it. That's what it looks like wet. Okay, not sure. <laughs> let's say this one. Uh, let's see, I like that design right there. Plop it, swirl, 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 and plop it. And that's what that looks like wet. All right, so I'm leaving those three to dry on the side. I'm really curious, like could I have done that? I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it a different way. Of course, know that I am not in any way knowledgeable of how to do this. I'm just curious, right? So this is, this is full of water. I'm just gonna dip it and lay it down. And now I'm going to follow the directions as they originally had said. Where's, oh, oh my gosh, I was like, where's my scraper? I just put it right here. Um, I just wanna see what it looks like, you know? I'm curious, I'm doing this for sats. I don't know why I said it like that, I apologize. Is it wet still? Whoops. <laughs> as expected to happen with glitter. All right. Okay, well you definitely can tell a difference between one that was dipped in and one that was submerged. Um, that's really weird. Did I just mess it up? I don't know how you can really mess this stuff up. Okay. I played around with that one. Now we're gonna let it sit while I clean up. I wanted to make a pun about dipping my toes in, uh, but, <laughs> whoops. 
<laughs> um, but I thought it would be too punny. Now, I also wanted to mention, I believe it was Nerdy Crafter who was the first to inform me, um, not personally, but just collectively, <laughs> um, that you really shouldn't put glitter down the sink. Um, but I don't ha I didn't have a lot. And I put it on the garbage disposal because I was like, eh, that can take a little bit more, um, you know, abuse. So we'll see. But everything is cleaned. And it's really funny, this thing said it was a half hour project. Who knew most of it was waiting for the paper to dry. It's really weird how this one clumped. Um, I'm assuming it was my technique, so I can't blame, you know, their, the product. It was, it's decent pastels and it was water. So it's not, it's not that, it's definitely user error. Um, I wanna say out of all of the kits that I've tried so far, all, this is the third one, um, this actually is a really cool kit because it does come with everything that you really need. I know from my little minuscule artistic uh, prowess that um, pastels can sometimes get very expensive. And this kit, again, I think I, I just, I splurged at um, five below. So this was maybe like $10. Um, I think everything there is pretty much just five dollars, but I don't think it's like the Dollar General or whatever where it like guarantees that it's at least a dollar. Anyway, so uh, this was really, you know, even if you just want to get into art and stuff like that, like you should pick this up just for the pastels. They seemed very vibrant and I can't imagine that they have anything wrong with them. Why this looks like this. Looking at this, there is no way I don't believe that works. Like that's, that can't be a real, they're not showing an actual product. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. I, I don't believe it. Maybe the colors, I don't know. It just doesn't seem, doesn't seem accurate. I think I'm gonna set these aside to give them enough time to dry. And then if you guys will forgive me to be doing two craft videos in a day for me, I am going to start on the other craft that I'm really excited to try. So I will return to do the final touches to this project. I ended that sentence weird. I'll, I'll be back. <laughs> all right, guys, I just finished recording all of my watercolor kit video, which will air next week. It was a lot of fun. I actually kind of got lost in the art for a moment, which is a wonderful feeling. So that one should be fun. Um, but now these are, they're still a little cold to the touch, but I, I gave it a good, almost an hour. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead with the craft. So we're gonna start with the main one. This was the main one that we were discussing using originally just by itself. So they just say, you know, peel off and, uh, let's see, peel off the first bit and lay it down. Let me reread the instructions. I'll be right back. So they say, choose what you want and cut it out. Remove the clear top. Lay it down. Was that the clear? Yeah, oops. Wait, lay it face down? How does that work? Remove the top clear layer and place the transfer face down, but that would be reverse. Whoops, if you can see that actually came off. All right, I'm gonna try to do this. I don't know why they said face down, that would be reverse and you couldn't read the words. Um, and they said use this to scratch it on. Make sure to get the edges, they said. Um, yeah, that's not working. Okay, so let's assume that's definitely not, there is no clear top by clear, what do they mean by that? So if we see this, the only thing I can peel off is that. Lay it face down. Oops, oh, I just got my table all messy. For argument's sake, let's lay it face down and make sure to get the edges. I 
I don't see anything. It's gone, but I don't see anything. And then let's lay it this way. And I'm just scraping it off. It's not, it's not going anywhere. For argument's sake, let's take a clear one that has never been touched. Let's do what they say. We're gonna just use this rainbow. Remo remove the clear top, look at this. So I, I removed the clear top, cut the design from the sheet, remove the top clear layer of the sheet and place it face down. There is no top layer. Look, my finger cuts right through that. There is no top layer. So I'm just going to ignore that part because we've tried on the other one. I'm just going to do this. So be sure to get the edges, but I'm, whoops. <laughs> I messed that up, okay. Then I get the gold foil. Nothing. What am I doing wrong? If I remove it, see, wouldn't it stick that way? Lay it, all right, so remove that and lay it face down. And then, see, this is the, this is the tacky side. And then I do this, no. That just erases the actual foil. So you would think my first guess was correct. You lay it down like this, and you scratch this, and this is supposed to go on. Okay. There we go. Is that not the worst way I tried to do it on this? You see how I laid it down? So that was the sticky and I laid it on this and I tried and it kept getting gross. And when I lifted it, nothing happened. I think it's because this is now disgusting. It's now disgusting. It's covered in glitter and this doesn't come off. So this transfer does work if you use it on normal paper. The watercolor portion, not watercolor, marbling, technically worked. Uh, I don't know. All right, so let's, let's give up on the, the gold bits and let's try to just use the pen. Okay, so this pen isn't anything special. Not saying you're not still amazing. So this is what my handwriting just looks like. I'm just gonna write, let's see, that said happy. Uh, I need to take some calligraphy, guys, that's horrible. Okay, happy, right? Let's see. Ew, I guess it's still wet. Ew, I popped a hole in it. So you need to give this paper more than an hour. And I sat there, uh, it's, it was a solid hour. Or, that's still moist. Uh, they all still feel a little bit, I wouldn't call them wet, but they are not, oops, not a success. This looks nasty anyway. This, okay, final thoughts, right? The individual materials were fine. This is a good pen. These are good gold rubby dudes. Um, the pastels, good pastels. This is a normal piece of paper. Cool, right? As individuals, that's fine. This marbling, um, it gave enough directions. It was a bit vague, um, but it gave enough directions to know what to do. Um, and it was vague because it wants you to be creative with it, right? So that's fine. All of that is fine. The kit itself, I would say, that's fine. Putting it all together, I do not see how this would work on this because it's the whole scraping motion. Now granted, this is still a little moist, right? This paper is completely dry. Um, the instructions were 100% wrong. We can all agree with that. It said remove the clear top and it's the white back. So that was completely mixed. It also said flip it right side or whatever. That's wrong. 
Um, so my first original guess, like I was doing it right the first time because this is not my first rodeo, <laughs> but um, it wasn't working. It was not sticking onto this. And I think it's because of the glitter. Could it stick? Let's, let's see. I'm gonna do a science experiment. Oops. Okay, same piece of paper that we know use the gold, no problem. We know how this works now. Lay it down. And we are going to make sure get the edges like they said so we get a full diamond effect it's interesting that the top also scrapes but i know that that is just the surface it's not showing off on the bottom so i think i got it all gone it's like doing a scratch off like did i win you see this it doesn't want to stick it doesn't want to stick I know that that was really pigmented. Yeah, that's the word. Um, but I think that's the similar issue to this. So that's a fail and that is not a fail on me. It's interesting, you can actually see like the indentation because I got it to work, but then this is not working. So ergo, the user is not the issue. So the overall products are fine. Um, you just have to be careful with the kit. Depends on what you want to do. I do think it's worth it because it was like five bucks and you got these pastels and these these glitter, I mean, not the, the gold is pretty cool. So, you know, it's still, I would still buy it for the pieces, but as a craft together, this is a fail. I have nothing I can show off. Technically, I don't even know what I would have used this for, but I'm not gonna use this. It's going straight in the trash. So, uh, I don't know. Uh, I definitely want to try more marbling, um, just not paper, probably. So uh, I know that there is always a little bit of an issue with the, the end quality of marbling anyway, but um, I don't know, it looks really fun to do. So I think I'll do that in the future, um, but this kit, this kit was a fail. Thank you so much for watching. Again, if you liked the video, please give it a like and uh, leave me a comment down below and consider subscribing for more content. Remember that you are loved, you are worth it, and whatever you are struggling with today will pass. Until next time, stay crazy.